Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Candy Box. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, as usual, we have some sweet treats from the Candy Box for you. Good. So I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. Yeah, King, I'm going to give you the honor to open the candy box and choose one of our treats here. Wow, so many so sweet treats. treats. Okay. Ah, this one is a green candy. What's in this, hun? This is the... Oh, what candy is this? Chuckles. Wow, chuckles. What's what's chuckles? Um, is it the candy like that looks like um I think gummy beer? Yes, chuckles okay. is similar to gummy beer. Okay, okay, is as that like a lemony limey taste? You have green, yellow, yellow okay. orange. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today from the candy box, we have chosen. Chuckles and inside the Chuckles wrapper we have Woo Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Wow. wow. We are taking a trip from the Caribbean, the sunny Caribbean, okay. and we are going to Europe yeah. to Amsterdam. Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Wow. Take it away, Lady King. Oh my. Amsterdam is such a beautiful, beautiful country. Yes, it is. You know, when I first went there, it was in an October was because October? it was oh, coming yeah. on to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. Wow. So, um, how long ago was it? A year, two years? A year. It was a, a year. year ago last year. Okay, good. So October of hmm, started October now. So yes. And at first, I thought it would have been cold, you know, going into Europe, but the warmth. And the friendliness of the people there and, you know, just going there and seeing the different culture. Persons riding bicycles, it's busy and people, people are going about, you know, fast and swiftly. But everybody just stops sometimes to give a hi or hello. Yeah. And, you know, um, they speak mostly French or... Um, I think Dutch. Dutch. Dutch, yeah, that's correct. But it was surprising to know that almost everyone knew stop to talk to. They also knew English. English, yeah, that's correct. That is correct. So what's your most memorable well, thing about Amsterdam, hon? Amsterdam, um, it, to me, it was like a culture shock. In that sense, um, yeah, the people are very, very friendly. Um, the bicycles. Oh, my goodness. Um, it is said that... Um, there are um, bicycles equivalent to the amount of people in Amsterdam. So what they're saying is that to every person that you see in Amsterdam, they do have a bike. So they do a lot of riding there. And to me, that was different from here in Canada, Jamaica, the States, even in England uh, when we were there. But um, yes, people go around. Buying to their work, does buying out. groceries. They have their children, some at the front, some at the back. That is correct. And also their pets. When it's I look, just amazing. Yeah. You know, uh, even when I when we look at the... Car um, park. The, the park. It's it like, like, oh my goodness. parked instead of cars. That like is correct. Thousands, thousands of, of bikes. Bicycles. Thousands of bikes parked all over the place. It, it's an amazing place. Um, To me, Amsterdam... Hearing about Amsterdam... um. What comes to mind and from the trips taken by so many people, maybe friends, family members, or even yourself or whoever I'm um, going to Amsterdam, um, they always talk about going to the red light district. Um, Amsterdam is more than that. As a matter of fact, we didn't even go there because we were on the, the other side um, where there's a lot of shopping. So the shopping, um, the stores are the other Museums side of that is and correct. Canal tours. Mu there you are. The canal tours amazing. Um the homes there they are different from what we have seen along the, the um the, the canals. The canal. Like that is basically correct. boat houses. That is correct. Yeah. That was a sight to behold. Yeah. It's an amazing um place to to visit. Um in terms of because I was even asking one of the, the tour guides um how like for like whenever they're moving in and out of a home. How is that done? But he did mention, I think above um, 
the doors up to the window there's a, like a staple wherein they that's how they take the the um the furniture i think through the windows so it's in a, it's a different place it's a different culture um the people as you said lady king they are warm they are so friendly um they, i noticed that they eat a lot of um pastries a lot of sweet pastries there are so many places to go um one of the most famous places there's Anne Frank's house where um Anne Frank and I think her family they hid from the Nazi for over two years museums galore museums galore you're looking at um the the van Gogh museum that's um for art for pa um for painting um you've got the park what's the name of that park Vandel uh, park yep in the middle of the park, there is a flower garden, a botanical garden. Over 800, um, no, sorry. I think they said it's over, what, 70? 70, yes. 70 different type of um, flowers in that park. It's a place that, um, you know, it, it, it soothing, it's relaxing. 70 different types of roses. Of roses, that is correct, that yes. is correct. In that place, so for nature lovers, um, that's a place for you to go. Uh, again, the the air is so clean. Um, as we have said before, a lot of biking that goes on there. So uh, for, so so far, like the like cars, um, for the you know smooth uh, things like that, you won't be experiencing that at all. It's a beautiful place. Plus the water, a lot of canals, and um, we took a tour on, um, along, on the canal. along the canal. It's a beauty to behold. Um, it's you know it's so, it's so relaxing you know it's it's a place that you know just takes your breath away what was your um favorite part about the trip on my favorite part was really the canal tours yeah you know um going along the banks and seeing the boat houses yeah and the beautiful flowers and you know, persons were just sitting on what we would call our patio, but then I don't know what they call theirs. Because uh, on top of a, the boat? It's actually the boat, a boat. The boat house? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So, you know, just seeing all of that and people riding by on bicycles. It, yeah. Everything about the place, the buildings, the arch architectural um, structures there, yeah. the museums, the food. Everything was just amazing. That's Everything correct. Was great. Because even in the middle of um, I think it's Dam Square, there is a there is a palace. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Um, Amsterdam, I would recommend for anyone who would like to go to if you're going to Europe, Amsterdam should be on your list. Um, again, it's a Dutch um, colony. Amsterdam. We did mention about uh, when we went to um, oh, Saint Martin. Um, there's a there's an English side of Saint Martin and there's a Dutch Said. side. Yeah, so you know is the Dutch side of Saint Martin, you know, has some of its roots from from Amsterdam, from Netherlands, which is Amsterdam. So it it's a it's a place that I would strongly recommend for you. Again, we're in the COVID time and then this thing it seems like it's not going away, but again, you know, you just have to, you know, hope for the best. When this is all over, um, just plan a trip, you know, go to places that you can sit back, relax, unwind. You know, Amsterdam is on, you know, our list too of places that we would like to visit again, not just for a day or two, but just to go and, you know, just relax. Even we were saying that, you know, just... We didn't get to, to hire a bike. a bike. That would have been fun. Yeah. But then we had limited time. That so. is correct. That is correct. That is correct. So, Lady King, um, any other... Suggestions? Anyone going to Amsterdam that you would like them to, you know, be mindful of? Well, if you have never been to Amsterdam, Europe on a whole, uh, it's something to put on your bucket list or something to put on your list of mm -hmm. places to yeah. go after the COVID. That's I correct. mean, if you're living in the Caribbean or in America or Canada, it's just great to know different, different countries, places to different, see different cultures, cultures that is to correct. interact that is you know correct. it's it's one life that we have to live so we just have to enjoy every you, moment you of know. it and, and get to know new that things. is correct because traveling on in on its own um it, it's it's an experience you know and it's educational again knowing and learning about different cultures meeting seeing different people you know it, it's it's an amazing thing and you know again it's relaxing it's soothing you know it's just take away the stress i i can tell you this after this covid 
you know, a lot of us need to unwind because so many things have been going on through our minds. So many things have been happening. You know, um, people are getting sick. You know, we have lost our loved ones. And, you know, we just have to be grateful and to be thankful that, you know, we are, we are still here. We are, we are, you know, we are by the mercies of God. We are, we are around. So, you know, just relax. Just take the moments and time with your family members, your friends, just to unwind and again, travel. Traveling in, and it's, own it's an experience it's educational so amsterdam is a place that i would recommend any given day again you know the red light district a lot of people have that in mind that you know going to amsterdam that's the place for you know you have um, if you're a party lover yeah it, it, it's a nightlife there it, nightlife. it's that's there um i know like even here in canada um it's just recently that like like marijuana has been legalized. Amsterdam, it's that's where people go to smoke freely. Not that I'm endorsing it, but at the end of the day, that's what they do. But in Amsterdam, it, it's every shop is like you are here in Canada. It's like a pastry shop. That's what it is. So Amsterdam is more than the red light district. It's a place that you can go back, go to uh, relax, unwind, just go enjoy nature for what it's what it's. It is um, just a cruise on the canal. It's an amazing thing to do. The food, amazing um, food. Um, the places to go. So many museums. So many museums you can go to. Art museums. You know, you can you can tour um, the entire city. Just or spend like days just visiting museum in Amsterdam. So we would strongly recommend. So again, this is one of the places that we'd love for you to visit after the COVID is all over. So again, we just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this another episode of our podcast. And again, Lady King and myself would like to say to you, be safe, enjoy yourself, and until next time, stay tuned to another episode of the Candy Box. Thank you and God bless.